catch me about three hours and halfway round the circumnavigation of California's Mount Diablo, which is up there behind me. It offers 360 degree views and it really is a great hike for a weekend if you're in the North Bay. So let's go back to the parking lot and then see what it's all about. Parking lot is at Diablo Overlook, which is about 3000 feet up on the mountain and the views even from here don't disappoint and we haven't even started yet all the way through due west to San Francisco which is right over there you can just see the tower and the Marin Heights over there Eventually the hike will give us 360 degrees of view around the entire Bay and Delta, Sierra, Central Valley area. Okay Rob, fun fact time. This uh, geologic formation here is known as Greenstone and it was formed from rapidly cooling volcanic uh, lava on the seabed. However, we're three and a half thousand feet in the air. Why is that you say? Because this is the very edge of the Pacific North American plate and tectonic activity eventually forced this up. So the bottom of the sea is now three and a half thousand feet in the air. There you go, fun fact. The end of the first hour, we've made our first 600 foot gain. It's the first high point before we have to go down again. Yep, we could have driven to this point. Nice view of the bay and over to the Golden Gate Bridge. Come off the peak, we can see the very famous Devil's Pulpit. And then we look east across into the Central Valley. And somewhere in the cloud there is uh, the Sierra Nevada and Yosemite, about a hundred miles to the east. On the uh, south east corner, that's Morgan Territory over there, looking into the Central Valley, over towards Stockton, up towards Sacramento. As we climb down, we come to Prospector's Gap, which is the saddle between Mount Diablo and North Peak, which is way, way up there. But we're going to go down and round through the saddle. We start to see the North Bay, the Carquina Strait, and up into wine country. Just descended down a spur line out to this ridge and overlook uh, to make us about three fifths of the way there. Well, we'll see. The end of this leg you end up on a fire road which actually is a good respite from the fairly narrow fairly rocky downhill for the last quarter of the hike last leg nice uh, fire road basking in the glory of the afternoon sun here if you're going to come and do this November into early December the weather is absolutely perfect just cool enough so you don't get hot and there's no uh, fog or marine layer to obscure the view so it's a perfect hike quite the climb there but you emerge back to a view of the bay a bit more climb to go though 
before you know it, here we are again, done.